Hello, welcome to the LakeFS tutorial series. In this video, we are going to show you how to download LakeCTL, which is the LakeFS command line tool. Let's begin. So we'll start on the LakeFS GitHub homepage and scroll down a bit to the right side of the page and go to the releases section. We can click on the latest release, which was from a few days ago, and scroll down to the assets in the release. Uh, what we want to find is the appropriate <clears throat> one to download for our computer. It could be Mac, Windows, or Linux. I'm on a Mac machine. I have, um, there's two options here. I have the Intel processor, which means I will go with the x86 file. So we'll click that, um, it downloads and we can open it up. And once we open up the downloaded folder, we see four um, pieces of content in here. One is a readme, one is a license, which you can check out later on your own time. And the other two items are the LakeFS and the LakeCTL binary. So if we want to be able to execute Lake CTL commands, we need to move it, this binary, to our executable path. Uh, we can confirm that it is not executable because if we run an example command, it will not work and say command not found. So we can see what our path is by running echo dollar sign path and there's a colon separated list of paths that we can move it to. Uh, my personal favorite is user local bin, so we'll go with that. We'll type uh, move and then the path to the lake CTL binary, which is downloads lake fs underscore 0.44 slash lake CTL, and we'll move it to user local bin. And we can run this. And now the binary is in our path. As a quick note, if user local bin is not in your path, there, you know, depending on which terminal you use, you can add it. I'm not gonna go over that right now. Uh, leave a comment or reach out or do some Googling if you do have that, it, that question. So we can try running a lake CTL command now. And we see that the command is known, but we're not configured. To configure, we need to um, authenticate the command line tool with a LakeFS installation. So the way a, a way you can do this is run lakectl config, and you'll be prompted to access uh, the access key and secret from a LakeFS installation. I still have my credentials from the local instance that uh, we used in a previous video. So we'll copy the key ID, copy the secret. Server endpoint is uh, my local host, um, port 8000. And now we can run lake CTL repo list and uh, get the response back of the repository my repo recreated, when it was created, um, and the, you know some other information about it. So there you have it. Now you're free to use any Lake CTL command uh, that you want. And if you would like to see all of the commands at your disposal, what we can do is go to the LakeFS documentation page under reference. There's the command line reference. And here on this page, we see uh, all the commands that um, you can run. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.